Hi guys, Bobby for Spurdo. We just lost 2-1 to Southampton at home, the penultimate game. I've got Stu with me. Uh, Stu, that was depressing. It was, yeah. Um, it, but it's, come on, this is Spurs. I've had this throughout my life, you know. We needed three points, simple. You know, same as, well, with, I mean, Chelsea, different game, but three points, that's all we needed, you know. Did they look jaded to you? Yeah, we do, and I think we did, you know, last couple of games, West Brom at home, you know, same thing, we just, we looked tired. You know, how many games have we played this season, you know, it has taken its toll, but you know, on the plus side, come on, second or third, well, second. All we've got to do, this, this, Man City do a job today, we should have done it ourselves. That, that's the disappointment. I mean, Ericsson today, he just, is it the Euros? I don't know, but he just backed out of absolutely every challenge. We didn't have that commitment, you know, and the commitment that was there at Chelsea, now, OK, we probably went a little bit over the top in the end. But today, where was it? We just, we didn't have a plan B, did we? We, we literally, they... Has that been an issue all season, kind of plan no, B? I think we had a plan B most of the season. We, we look a different side. We can shoot, we can score from anywhere. Today we didn't. They, they, they didn't. We didn't really try to shoot no, very much, did we? No, not at all. How many chances did Harry Kane have today? Which is so sad. You know, he's one, he, he's one guy. Well, one at the end of the first half, which he should have squared, didn't he? Well, I don't know. I was down at the bar, but <laughs> I, always, I always go down early because then that way we score. But uh, not today. But look, at the end of the day, it's been a fantastic season. I'm looking forward to Newcastle. Let's, it would have been nice if we could have wrapped it up today. Um, at Newcastle, let's put them down because yeah. they deserve to go down. And let's finish where we deserve to finish because we have been the best football inside in this league all season by far. Yeah. And the other thing is, whatever happens at Newcastle, whether they're down or not, they'll have to come at us, which suits us a lot more. I mean, yeah, course, the, yeah. the, the way Southampton play, which was they played really well, but they were deep, and we struggled to get behind them. It was a lot, I have to say, it was a lot like watching the way Woolwich play a lot at home, where they pass in front of them a lot, but couldn't get in behind. I've never watched Woolwich, so I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't, I can't, I've seen the Woolwich Arsenal. Oh, is that? Yeah, yeah Dole Square, whatever they're called. Um, look, come on, it's, it's, it's the best side I've seen down here in, in my lifetime. So I'm, I'm happy. Eric Lamella today yeah. was probably the oh, one positive, was wasn't, he? Tougher, wasn't he? Yeah, definitely. You know, um, but hey, come on. Yeah. It's been a good time day. to be positive. Stu's positive. Always, good always to see. Positive. We'll see you in Newcastle. Stu, guys, let us know what you thought of his comments in the comments box. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel YouTube. Cheers, Stu.